What's up guys? Welcome to Fezzy Fitness. You can turn on the captions for subtitles. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ron. Sing it with me, brother. Yeah, hey. yeah. Happy birthday to you. First of all, a happy birthday to Big Grammy. But no cake for the champ on his 37th birthday because the champ has some unfinished business to do in three weeks. Last year, we found out that Big Ramy doesn't need a lot of cops to look at his best and just looking at his death face, it is clear that he is suffering harder than ever but his strength in the gym is still sky high. DJ is really pushing him to his limits every day so that he can present a much better package than last year. Was it close between him and Brendan Carey in 2020? No, absolutely not. Now, do you guys think that the extra time for Hadi Chupan this time to train under the watchful eyes of his trainer, Hani Rambod, will make a difference in the result this year? Hadi Chupan wants that gold medal, and so does Rami. But there is no denying the fact that Rami has side advantage over all of them. Cannot wait to see how much weight Hadi was able to put on since last year's Olympia. The two times classic physique champion Brion Ansley made some shocking revelations in the interview with Dennis James. What many of us believe that 2020 version of Brion was his best ever, Brion thinks it was his worst ever conditioning since the Olympia 2017, the year he won his first title. And the reason was he was struggling to make weight even a few hours before the weigh-ins in 2021. This year, Brion will be ready two weeks out of the show. And by ready means he will be in the striking distance to make weight very easily. The latest progress pictures show that he is on the money but the problem is still the same. At this point he can't make any significant improvements if he has to come down to same weight every year. So is the first time Brion admitted that even if he won the classic Physique Olympia in 2021, he will seriously consider switching to 212 division and take on another challenge. So he has already made up his mind. The final outcome is in the hands of the judges, but you best believe that Brion will be at his absolute best this year and he will say goodbye to this division. With the controversy surrounding Bumstead family, Seabum's sister being arrested for the possession of illegal substance, although she got released on the same day, but the charges are still pending. Hope this situation doesn't affect the prep of Ian and Chris because we all want them to be at their best at the Olympia. The reigning and defending Arnold Classic champion William Bonac finally goes to train in Oxygen Gym Kuwait. Even with low carbs, he looked full and ready and everything was popping in his recent guest posing. William is one of those guys who almost never missed his mark in terms of conditioning and his new coach believed that William will be at his heaviest ever this time around. Combine that with his conditioning from the Olympia 2017 which was arguably his best ever. He will be a strong candidate for his third Arnold Classic title. The conditioning of Samson days out of the Arnold Classic UK is just amazing. The back looks more ripped than ever and he looks harder than a stone here. Another guy who is tall who took his time to grow into the open class. 
in the off season he pushed his weight over 300 pounds and we are talking about clean weight here and the hard work is finally paying off hopefully his glutes and hamstrings are on point in the next couple of days because one week out back update shows that those points are still his weakness Ending the video with classic physique and this latest post from Taron Strofin is directed to all the people who criticize him for his conditioning. This man changed so fast in the last two weeks that it's really unbelievable. Terence was runner up last year but didn't get the respect that he deserved post Olympia and we have heard his name very little in the build up for the Olympia 2021. Well, we still have more than a week till Arnold and Terence is looking insane. I don't think anyone can say now that he won't be ready. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.